Joining us now is Thomas Darcy, the president and CEO of commercial real estate advisors Grubb & Ellis. The firm manages over $6 billion in assets. Mr. Darcy, welcome to Bloomberg News. Mark, Good to have to you. Here. Some very sobering statistics there. What's going on in this, in this commercial real estate space? Well, I think, Mark, it's clear that the commercial real estate market is recovering. I think we're in the early innings of this recovery, but I think the arc of the recovery is up. Obviously, as we proceed through this recovery, it won't be a straight line up, but we're seeing real recovery in our markets, judged by transaction volume that we're seeing at the brokerage level. Okay. In the second quarter, we have the vacancy rate creeping higher, but just barely. Is that some cause for concern, or is that just something to be anticipated as you try to navigate your way out of this? As we all know, the leasing market is driven by business confidence, and mm -hmm. so we clearly need to see a tick up in the confidence of the business leaders. But we are seeing significant activity on the leasing side. Our numbers show that we're looking for a 30% increase in investment sales and a 15% increase in leasing uh, volume. And we saw that in the first quarter. We expect that to continue throughout the course of the year. Okay, now that number, it's tying an all-time high, right? In the 24 years, what, what was the highest number at Grubb & Ellis? Well, it's interesting to say that. I mean, you've had sequential growth all along, yeah. but we're coming off a very low base currently. So we think that 15% growth this year is a good number, especially 30% growth on the transaction side is a very solid number. Is that something that when, when you're looking at your metrics, when you're, you're looking long-term, obviously in this economic climate, you can't look short-term. Sure. Long-term... Is that something where you're saying, see, we're, we're creeping out of this, but patience is the watchword. It's going to take some time here. I think that's fair, Mark. We believe fundamentally that commercial real estate is a great investment currently. I think when you look at alternative investments, you look at the fixed income market and the broad market, that commercial real estate, with the yield it provides, the recovering market, the the entry point you can get in asset values today really reflects a compelling investment. We think that will drive transactions going and forward. And speaking of driving transactions, perhaps even driving small business owners, because as you mentioned, small sure. business, uh, business leaders meeting with uh, some members of the political establishment in Washington today, what are their concerns? What are they telling folks in Washington? I still think one of the chief concerns, Mark, is the credit availability to small business. While the lending environment is much uh, more robust bust than it has been. I still think it's fair to say that if you talk to small business owners today, the lack of credit remains a concern of theirs. What about space that's currently in the construction pipeline? Now, the good news on this uh, market, uh, Mark, is that we did not have the, the uh, abundance of supply that we've had in past downturns. Yeah. That's fundamentally a difference from this uh, environment that we've had in the previous two downturns. We think that lack of supply will mean that the market will come back relatively quicker than it has been in the past. When so it's not say, an overbuilt situation. Sir, when you say relatively quicker, can you give us a time? Is, is, it, is it too difficult? Is it unfair of me to ask you for a timetable? No, I don't think so at all. I mean, we're seeing, we see our uh, research tells us we have 120 research professionals led by our chief economist Bob Bach spread across the United States. So we spend our lives analyzing the commercial real estate market. We believe that the market recovers in 2010, but a robust recovery really doesn't kick in to the early stage of 2011. But you talked about credit. When does that credit, just quickly, when does that credit start to thaw? The credit is starting to are currently. We're starting to see money come back to the commercial real estate market. That's good for transactions, it's good for values, and it's good for service companies like Grubb & Ellis. All right. Thomas Darcy, President Chief Executive Officer, Grubb & Ellis & Company, talking to us about the commercial real estate space. Pleasure to meet you, Thank sir. You, Thank you, Mark. Very really much. Appreciate it.